Hey guys, Tatiana Ward here. I just wanted to give you a very quick update on Weight Watchers. I am back on my A game. I have gone to the gym this week about four or five times, kind of like uh, I was doing before I backslid. I'm seeing definite results. Um, just feeling a lot more comfortable in my skin and I actually lost about four pounds in a week and a half which I think is good and I'm kind of like should I keep jump starting this because I feel like I lost four pounds because I had stopped working out altogether and I was averaging like losing a pound a week so four pounds it's kind of like my body jump started again because I started working out again but yeah I'm very very happy to say that in total I've lost 20 pounds on Weight Watchers uh, and I am almost out of the 200s. I'm 204 pounds and hopefully in about a week and a half's time I will be out of the 200s and only have about 20 more pounds to lose. Not really doing anything extraordinarily different. Oh, I am packing my lunch for work. Um, I work really, 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 really long days sometimes. I've been bringing those Smart Ones meals, which are Weight Watchers meals, and they're only like six points or whatever. And also, um, I like Activia because it regulates you. It's a yogurt that has like a diuretic in it or something. I don't know. But it makes you poop regularly. So I'll pack a Smart Ones. I'll pack a pickle, which is zero points. I'll pack a big thing of applesauce, which is zero points to snack on when I'm like hungry. Activia, which is only like, I think, two or three points. And that's it. So I think that's got a lot to do with why I'm losing weight. I'm really not eating things with too many points in them. I'm not using up my daily points. I'm staying under them completely by packing my lunch and just snacking on things that don't have any points or have very little points. And that's probably also why I'm, I've lost more weight than my average one pound a week. I'm still walking for an hour when I go to the gym and I'll just do like light weight training, nothing major, um, just trying to keep my muscles burning fat while I'm sitting still. So I hope you guys are doing really good on your journey. Um, I've heard so, so many amazing things on Twitter and Facebook, people telling me that, you know, they've lost X amount of weight and that's wonderful. I feel like we really are in this together. My birthday's next month. Yay, Virgos. Maybe by October, November, I'll be my goal weight, which is awesome because fall is the best season to be fit because of like, in the summertime, I'm just wearing like maxi dresses anyway, so you can't really, it doesn't really show my figure. No matter how skinny I am, my thighs always rub together. So I absolutely hate wearing shorts because they ride up in the middle and it's just like, ugh, I can't stand it. So I spend most of my summer in dresses anyway. So fall will be nice because I'll purchase and wear my first pair of jeans in probably six or seven years. I was never really big on denim anyway, but being big, it's just, it just made denim obsolete because I can't stand to be restricted around my stomach. Yeah, and I'll get to wear like boots and sweaters and all that fun stuff. I'm not a clothes person by any stretch of the imagination. I could dress the heck out of my friends, but I can't dress myself because I have a very strange body type. Like my shoulders are really, really broad and my boobs go like this. I'm very hourglassy and my hips go like that, but I have a flat butt, so I can't really hold up jeans anyway. Ugh, it's just weird. But being thinner will make things a lot easier come fall when it comes to shopping and I'm super stoked about that. So yeah, I can't wait to get there and I can't wait, um, by then I'll probably be doing some outfit of the days, even though I can't stand that because I'm a makeup artist, not a stylist, but I don't know. We'll see. Maybe I'll do some outfit of the days. <laughs> so thanks for watching and I'll see you back here next week for an update on how it's going. Thanks. Bye.